I'm Joseph Kern, Instructional Designer at Emporia State University. I'm going to talk to you about Google Moderator, which is a tool that will change how your students or an audience is able to interact with you while you're teaching. It was originally designed for large presentations where you have kind of a back channel and a moderator who is able to take input from the audience, who is able to suggest ideas or, or ask questions, and the moderator is able to look at what are the things that they most want to hear about. And so you can change gears on the fly in order to provide more value in whatever you're talking about. So it's got a lot of really good uses in, in education and the cool thing is it can be done with distance or face-to-face -face classes and blended situations synchronously or asynchronously it works a lot like a discussion board but kind of a lot more sleek and it has some cool features in particular uh, let's say during my presentation or my class I want to know what is the teaching strategy that you would recommend to others I can log in here I can submit my idea and I'm able to see the uh, suggestions from anyone else. Now the thing that makes this a lot cooler than a regular discussion board is that anyone's able to vote up or down on all of the other suggestions or ideas or questions. And as this continues and people vote more, the order in which these suggestions are listed will change. And the most pressing question that people have or the highest rated idea that someone's sharing will move to the top. It's a, a nice way to kind of have a leaderboard almost to, to motivate students to get higher quality resources to share or to help you isolate that question that you really need to answer. Because at the end of class, at the end of your presentation, when there are two minutes left and you have one more person who can ask a question, what are the odds that the one person you choose has the question that everybody else wants to hear instead of their own ridiculous question? This will help guarantee, as you hear from your, your moderator or your assistant or the student that you choose every different class day to be in charge of moderating and, and looking at the input of others, they'll tell you what the question is that everybody wants to know. The highest rated thing will be at the top. Uh, you can also sort things by date or time that they were received. And so what's hot is the, the, the most recent thing that people actually want to know or think is pretty cool. Setting up one of these moderator sessions is pretty simple. Uh, you just go to google.com slash moderator. You'll need a Google account to make this you'll need a Google account to make this work, so you can use your own or the emporia.edu Google accounts that we have work also. And your students will be able to log in in order to once you're logged in you hit create. And we'll look at the advanced features. The description is the actual question or the prompt that you're giving them. For accessibility, you can set it so that anyone can access this. You can set it so only people with a link that maybe you put on Blackboard can access it, or only people with the emporia.edu account can access it. You can add owners so other people can come in here and change these settings. There is the option of making an idea, a question, or a suggestion that you're prompting people for. Really, there's no difference in those as far as what the program does. It'll just say, you have five questions instead of, you have five ideas. Same thing with topic, event, meeting. For the most part, these checkboxes, you're just going to leave them blank. There are things like, hold all submissions for moderation, which means you have to OK anything that gets put up there, which I think kind of defeats the purpose of this. But you can let people submit questions anonymously, and you can let people submit responses to questions. So here you can make it a little bit more like a discussion board where somebody posts a question, you can post a response. The difference though with this is that ranking ability and being able to pick up on the trends. Once you've created your session, you can click on it to manage it. That's where you can submit an idea if you want. You can view these submissions. The thing you want to not forget is to actually share it with people so they can access it. So lots of different ways to share it. You can just email it to people. They'll give you a, uh, a URL. Students will be able to access it with that. If we enter that, it takes us right to the page. And so I can now submit my idea. I'm going to vote that down. I changed my mind. That's a horrible idea. There's not a time limit on these, so you can use this all within one class period or one presentation somewhere, or you can stretch it out over an entire semester. 
And so this would be a really good way to compile a list of resources. So students submit a resource they found that's really good for this type of question. So at the end of the semester, you have kind of a best of set that will help guide students toward uh, doing better quality research, maybe. And one last feature with this is that you can export this as a CSV file. I can't remember what CSV stands for, but basically an Excel file. And it's kind of cramped up here, but you have the uh, the time that things were submitted, the name of who submitted them, what they actually submitted, and you have how many plus votes and minus votes. So if you wanted to somehow uh, uh, make a grading system for this or have a leaderboard, this would allow you to do that. And so as a, as a motivator for students, hopefully they want to be the person who came up with the best idea week after week or the, the best question that best represented what everyone else actually wanted to know. So give Google Moderator a try and see if it helps you interact with students a little bit more and help you find out what they are interested in or what they need to know about a little bit more. Good luck!